Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to live stream to Facebook with Wirecast. So once you open up Wirecast, what you want to do is you're going to go to Output, and you're going to go to Output Settings, and you're going to hit the Facebook button, which is there. And hit OK. And then you can name it whatever you want. Test. Whoops. Oh, there you go. Uh, update Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook will only let you do 720p. Uh, that's as high as it will go. Um, so I recommend recording um, your live streams if you want to put it on other mediums like YouTube or your website, and I'll show you how to do that later. Um, then you're going to authenticate. Okay, and so all you're going to do is uh, log in to your Facebook account. Um, and you can schedule the lives whenever you want. So if you want to uh, schedule this live stream, there's many areas you can do it. You can do it to pages, you can do it to your profile or your groups. So I'm just going to do it to my profile for the example because I can do this. So I can hit profile and then I can hit only me. So then if you, you can title it uh, whatever you want. And then really important, you have to hit this create button. So once you, if you don't hit the create button, it won't work. But now that we have, we should be good. So now I'm going to go to my Facebook account and I've set it so it's only gonna show to me. Um, you would set it to, uh, let me show you what you would set it to. Um, so for the sake of this test, I'm gonna do it only for me. But if you wanted to do it to your friends or to public, you just click that and then since we hit the profile once you hit the stream now button it's going to stream on your timeline you just hit groups if you want to do um, your groups or events so I'm just gonna do profile I'm gonna hit not public I'm gonna do only me because I want to test my settings um, this is probably a good recommendation uh, for you guys or you guys can just not show what's happening on the screen but when I was testing stuff with Liz this is what I did and so as you see, since I went back into output settings, it actually deleted the location. So I have to create this again. So make you know, always make sure you do that. Hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the stream button. And it's already streaming. So now I'm going to log into my Facebook and show you guys what's happening. And so now, as you can see, uh, I'm streaming right now. And it has this watermark because I don't have any images or anything live. but um, if I was showing a uh, video or had a talking head or had a uh, not a YouTube uh, PowerPoint set up, it would be showing this on screen. So this is what, so as you see, it's not showing anything because this is what's in Wirecast right now. This is what's live. So if I, if I hit this, so let's just, let's just make something up real quick. Um, Okay, so now we're just going to show my face, and it's going to take a few seconds because there's a delay, but you're going to see here, I'm going to pop up because I hit the live button. So there we are. And as you also can see, it only is going to me. So now if I've tested it and now I want to make this public, all I have to do is hit public. I can hit friends. You can also do specific friends, um, and then this is like a, like if you don't want it to show to some friends, which is kind of cool. And that's all you have to do to stream to Facebook Live. In a future video, I'll be showing you how to stream to YouTube Live and also how to do both at the same time. Take care, guys. Bye.